what are the top four tools that you use as a mobile uh, malware analyst? I will divide them into two sections. Um, okay. Static tools, I use every single day. Android decompilers, I use Jab. This is a paid software, paid by my, my company, by ESAT. And there is, if anyone would like to test, there is an um, open source version, JDAX, GUI. It's also Android decompiler, a really great one. Then for disassembling, I use IDA or Jidra to analyze native libraries that are in a, in, a, in malware or Android applications and also Python script that would ease up my every single day job. And from dynamic perspective, dynamic tools, it's a burp. I believe many, many of you know that, or a TCP dump. Since malware don't use only HTTP or HTTPS protocols, that's why TCP dump is um, really great. And also Frida is a really great tool, Frida scripts. Burp, Frida, and TCP dump, they kind of complement each other because all of them together are actually covering the kind of entirety of the way the application can communicate, right? So maybe you aren't able to intercept uh, different protocols with Burp, but you're able to do that with the TCP dump. And uh, actually, Frida allows you to intercept the connection, to intercept the network communication if you bypass uh, pinning certificates, right? Yep. It's JDAX for static or JAD, JAD, JADAX. What was the other one? JEP. G -E GAB, yeah. And then there's also Gydra for, or Gydra for uh, also static analysis. I would assume that you really need it, right? You really need some sort of a uh, tool similar to Gydra. Yeah, um, it's really important since Malware also try to <laughs> perform malicious functionality, not only from a Java code, from the DAX file, but also through native libraries. Um, where they try to hide its, its malicious purpose. So it's really important to be aware of that and also know how to analyze or disassemble um, native libraries, either IDA, IDA um, or the Jidra, there's Cutter even. Would the malicious actors actually modify legit libraries or they would actually write libraries, malicious libraries on their own? Mostly they write uh, the malicious, malicious libraries for their own. Level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course Recon in Cybersecurity and master the fascinating world of reconnaissance. Link below.